You can call it a family affair. You know, I laugh that you see football players out and they're only out for a play and they come back and mom can kind of take a breath. But when all three of your kids are doing the same sport, there is no break. It's 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 nerve wracking for a parent. You heard right. Not one, not two, but all three of her sons were in the same sport. And for a moment, all three bowled from Estavy Hills High School at the same time. But now the youngest, Walter Reed, is making a name for himself. I'll probably get a text about this once this interview breaks, but I think he's the best of them. Leading the Rebels through four stellar seasons, Walter's drive may have come from more than the desire to add a trophy to the trophy case. I would say it's even worse than a state championship because it's, you know, you got all the bragging rights because I get to live with these guys. So I got to go home and be like, guess who beat in bowling today? But the bragging rights stopped there with his brothers. Walter's extremely humble about his success and knows it would not have been possible if he hadn't worked for it. Well, I started at a very young age. I was about in fourth grade and my brother was in sixth. And it was, it started as a hobby because I was never really good at it in a young age. But as I grew and, you know, got more physical with it, you could see my pins raised and I, my average got higher and I just would, would be able to control the ball more. It's been cool to kind of see him grow up as a young man, uh, where he's progressed from, from being a ninth grader uh, on our team and being on our state championship team to watch him assume a leadership role now, going from being one of the guys that was looking to be led to being the leader. It's been pretty cool to watch that. But Walter's talents go beyond the pins. Uh, away from bowling, I'm in theater. I'm a big onstage personality. I love, you know, being in the lights and singing my heart out and acting and performing for people. Gosh, the Lord has really blessed him and given him not only a sport talent, but a talent of, of singing and he can use his voice to, to bring joy to other people. It's a talent that Walter didn't really discover till later in life. In fact, he will tell you this is his first real year of acting. But even with it being new to him, he sees every opportunity he has to offer and even earned a lead role. It's honestly really fun to just have not all the attention on me, but to be at a place like that where your voice is heard and you're seen everywhere you go. You know, you have a job to uphold and when you do it perfectly, you get rewarded for it. And it's just really fun. Over Christmas holiday, he had the lead in Elf the Musical. He was Buddy. And I surprised him and came to opening night and he didn't know I was going to be there. And I wa remember watching him walk out on stage and I just started crying. I couldn't believe how good he was and just it just floored me. I've seen him perform and I've seen him do, but to be a lead for the first time and watch that transformation from my baby to this almost adult who has taken on this role and learned these parts and these songs and dancing, it was just breathtaking to me. It's a transformation that we may all get a chance to see as Walter heads off to the Plains this fall. In college, I'm going to be a civil engineer and I'm gonna minor in musical theater at Auburn. One thing is for sure, when you meet Walter Reed, he leaves an impression on you. And his mom, Suzanne, sums it up pretty well. To me, he's an amazing kid. He had a rough um, childhood. We had some family issues, but Walter has stuck to who he is as a, a believer in Christ. And um, he just, he's just amazing, sorry. <laughs> Donette Logan, High School Sports Weekly.